So you guys were used to seeing us take walks in our last neighborhood. You don't actually see us walk here since we moved, but we do, we have been walking. I usually post it on Instagram, definitely follow me there, but uh, we'll take you to where we actually walk down the trails. You see we have a pretty trail pretty much minutes from the house So this trail goes on for a while. There's a bridge, there's the walking trail below. There's all these beautiful trees. There's the fam. Do you walk down there? This looks like some old time, <laughs> bad places you don't want to walk. <laughs> But no, that's not where we're walking. We're staying on track, you see? Painted track. There are a few people, you see? Clearly was a storm yesterday or heavy rain. Look, look at all these branches. But look how beautiful this walk trail is. So pretty. Almost home, almost home. Okay, we're back home and I'm feeling light and fresh and clean and I smell good. I'm all powdered up, <laughs> all powdered up after a nice shower. So yeah, I'm feeling good after that exercise. So obviously I have never been an athletic kind of person. Uh, my mother has always been somewhat athletic. She's done yoga when I was growing up. She goes to the gym and before COVID, she was one of those people that literally went to the gym um, every week, maybe almost every day. And of course her commute is a bit of an exercise routine too um, as a New Yorker. But anyway, we are home and um, going to enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you all for watching us from wherever you're watching us from. Comment below where you're watching us from. We really like seeing your comments. Um, shout out to Jamaica, shout out to Nigeria, shout out to, let me see what countries, I've seen all kinds of countries um, that comment at us. Um, Asia, well, not too many in Asia actually, but 
um, all over the world so we appreciate it <laughs> I found these glasses these are my brother's glasses hey Bashir if you're watching this your big sister is enjoying your glasses I love you and I can't wait to see you I don't know when we're gonna see you this COVID is just messing everything up we're back again I don't know where the vlog ended or where it begins but Kenton and I just got back from um, we went to Target quickly and we also went to Ross uh, so I just wanted to show you what we got we went there with the intention of getting something practical so I got a mop how exciting right a mop just one of those squeegee mops that you don't have to touch to do the floor so that's what this is nothing very exciting but everything else is really cute so tomorrow is father's day just to give you some perspective tomorrow is father's day so i wanted a few things okay so this is from ross and uh, these are those what they call melamine i think they're called melamine melanin i'm not sure but they're not really plastic but they're not glass either right they're pretty hard and i bought two sets of plates so isn't this pretty well you can't really see because you got the tag on there but they're pretty so i got this was uh the four dollars it was on sale for four dollars and this one i really liked also these are floral they look spring they're so pretty they're so me this is the kind of fun floral stuff I like very summery very spring very happy and these are a little larger this here big thing big piece of carved art and I'm sure you've seen similar products to this this was probably the most expensive thing I bought this was $29 and that is to go let me show you on that blank wall you see that red wall straight ahead next to the column i really like i said never liked these colors or this dark color so to disguise it without having to paint we're gonna use this i got some clothes from ross all right <laughs> i bought two of these because you guys saw um, on the last vlog, the graduation, I was complaining that I don't really wear strapless bras. Um, but I found this in my size. And so I thought, why not? Why not try it, right? Try it. It came with straps that are, you know, attached to it, but it's actually intended as a strapless bras. It says five ways to wear. So I figure, why not? It's about time at my age I try a strapless bra. Wait a minute, where's the top? Where's the bottom? Oh, okay, I've been showing you upside down. This is how it goes. See? I don't know. In the camera, it doesn't look like it would fit, but it's supposed to be my size. <laughs> so I bought two bras because I can't find half of my underwear since we moved. I know, TMI. Okay, come here, Mariam. I got her... Well, we got her two dresses and this is a long dress and the brand is Luxor Luxology it's a long long dress and I just thought it was elegant and feminine but not too dressy this is the kind of color she likes um, I think girls her age I don't like when girls are you know too showy or too many tight clothes or you know showing their bellies and i mean there's a time and place for that and in the u.s you know fashion is a big thing and um, young people should be allowed to express themselves but you also have to balance it with some level of class and leave some things to the imagination right or at least that's how i was raised so i figure this is a cute dress and I think she's probably gonna think it's too long because it is like almost a maxi. All right, let me show you this, the second dress. This is yours too. I know it looks a little bright, but I thought, you know, you're going to college. 
you're gonna have like times where you have orientation or you have an event to go and you need to look like a young lady. So it's actually strapless, I mean not strapless, sleeveless. So you could wear a blazer with it once it gets cold or a cardigan. But in the summertime, I think this is perfect. It's such a lady. Don't you think? It kind of looks like a combo between me and Nana, right? It does. And then I got myself this dress, which was way too big. But I just love the fabric and the color. This is my color. I don't have enough in yellow. So I got it. It's actually a 3X. I am not a 3X. I am not a 2X. <laughs> I am sometimes a 1X. I'm kind of somewhere between extra large and 1X. So I can wear either extra large or 1X. This is a 3X. But I don't mind because it's long and flowy and uh, it's kind of like this chiffon and I think I'm gonna look cute in it. So I don't know, I might wear it tomorrow for Father's Day or I might just keep it for my birthday because my birthday is coming up in August, August 13th if you wanna know. <laughs> so yeah, it's like a V-neck and uh, it kind of crosses in the front. Okay, enough. And then this was the second bra because you need a nude 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 colored bra why is this all tangled up though and I know some of y'all are like oh my god she's showing underwear on you know yes 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 you're grown get over it <laughs> and if you're not grown you will be grown god willing god willing all right, the rest are stuff for Kenton. He got some shorts. Okay, snazzy shorts. All right, these are men's shorts. That's Kenton. And a shirt for tomorrow. I told him to, you know, make sure he picked up a cute shirt. So this is a nice men's shirt. All right. What's the print? The print has got fishes on it. So that's quite masculine, right? Sort of nice standard men's shirt. Short sleeve. What else did he get? Um, oh, he got two shirts, I guess. Here's another one. He likes these dark shirts because they kind of make him look a little slimmer around the midsection, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I think that was it. That was it, y'all. So I'm gonna hang up that picture and I will show you. Initially, I wanted the you know art to be lower, but because of the light switch, I couldn't have it too low. So that's why it feels high up. Oh my goodness, I'm so tired. <laughs> but y'all, we gotta cook dinner. What is for dinner today? So we got some brown rice. Brown rice. That's what we're doing. California's premier brown rice. Okay, and so it's in our little rice cooker. And put it on cook. So I usually put a little bit more water than I would if I was doing white rice because brown rice just takes a little longer to cook with all the fiber. It's a little heavier, um, but a little bit more healthy. And then over here, we have some salmon from the butcher at uh, Harris Teeter, I believe this came from. Okay. Wait, oh no, this is not, this is Kenton's, this is not salmon, I mean, this is Kenton's tuna. It's been prepared by the butcher. So look at these thick, chunky, fresh looking pieces of fish. Yeah, let me cover this and put it back in the fridge. 
Okay, we got the right one. This is the salmon. Yeah, the other one um, is the tuna that he's planning to use tomorrow to grill. Wow. So hopefully this is a lot more tuna, I mean, salmon than I need. $26 worth, hello. It's rich with omega fatty acids, super healthy salmon. Yeah, wow, this is a big piece. This is a big piece. So I'm gonna have to cut this in two and this could definitely be two meals. This is a big piece of salmon. It's gonna need to be washed and uh, definitely two pieces, two meals, wow. All right. So why is asparagus healthy for you or healthy for us? Oh, that's in, is it full of what? vitamins? Yeah, I know. They're all full of vitamins. What vitamins specifically? Uh, asparagus vitamins. <laughs> Look it up. Iron? Is it I think iron, iron is, is one of them, uh, definitely. And uh, it's also good to, for what? Uh, bigger. Bigger, yeah, right. For, <laughs> everything for that looks health. long, everything that's long shaped for men's health. Yeah, people always assume it has something to do with your vigor or vitality. I don't know why that is. Ouch. Ouch. But the thing about salmon, which is awesome, is that it cooks super fast. But so does asparagus. Asparagus cooks super fast too. So yeah, Kenton was correct. Asparagus is full of iron. It also has quite a bit of vitamin C, and vitamin A, which is important in vision. Vitamin C is good for your immune and healthy skin and healing. And it also has quite a, a considerable amount of vitamin K. Vitamin K is associated with blood clotting and also bone health. Um, the other important thing about asparagus is that it has a significant amount of folate. Folate is important in a healthy pregnancy. So to support a healthy pregnancy, mothers are encouraged to eat food that is rich in folate. folate. So anyway, Asparagus is good for you all around. And of course, you also have a ton of fiber. So that's good for your digestive health, right? All right, I'm just, you don't really have to cut it. You just cut off the tips and you know, you can serve them like this. But sometimes our kids like it when I cut it in two. I don't know. Also, I know people who make asparagus and then they dip it in egg yolk. Do you do that? Do you know that? Where they dip the asparagus in poached eggs or stuff like that. I guess, I don't know. We just steam it and put it on the side. Most of the time when I steam it, I put it in a separate pot, but today I feel like being a lazy cook. So I'm just gonna put it in the same pot with the salmon because uh, the salmon is done and I'm just gonna put this in to steam with it. So there is our salmon. I don't know if you can see it. I'm just gonna put it right on the side 
asparagus really takes only a few minutes and then it's done. You don't want it overdone because then you'll kill all the nutrients and you lose a lot of the fiber in terms of the crunch. Okay, it's done. Once you see a dark shade of green, you know it's done. Um, turn it off. So lots of vitamins, but low calories when it comes to asparagus. And uh, if you're doing like a no-carb diet, this would be great. Just the fish and the asparagus. Um, but again, I am serving it with brown rice. And maybe some plantain, of course. So here's Kenton's plate. As you can see, his has rice on it. Mine will not have the rice. And of course we have our healthy asparagus. Not bad, huh? Not bad. So here's my plate. As you see, no rice to all of those commenting about we eat too much rice and plantain. I still have the plantain, but no rice. You should be proud of me, right? I am gonna add some, hmm, more green, avocado. Does an avocado count as green? It's kind of got the good fats. That's what avocado is, good fats. Healthy, good fats. Now that is a good plate. 